When you are making your college list, you have to look at return on investment. What that means is, will this college set you up for success? Is it worth how much money it is? Is the school likely to give you financial aid? Let's cover how to analyze a college to decide if it will be a good return on investment. When you look up any college, your Google search results will show you a brief overview of the stats of a college, but the data it will give you is very inaccurate. The acceptance rate on Google is skewed because the percentage includes transfer students, not just first years. The best and most reliable tool for analyzing a college is the College Scorecard. College Scorecard is government run and specifically made to allow students like you to compare colleges on standard metrics, so it's the most accurate data available. First, look up collegescorecard.ed.gov on Google. Click on Type to Search and type any college you want. Then click View More Details. First, you'll see some initial highlights about the college, such as its graduation rate and the average annual cost. This average annual cost is very accurate. Spoiler alert, if it says the average annual cost is $41,000, it is. And if it says the average annual cost is $11,000, then it probably is. Looking under cost, you can see the annual average cost of attendance based on family's income, not just the overall average. This too can help you gauge how generous the school is with financial aid. On the college's website though, it will give you the total cost of attendance, but this is the cost that only students from generational wealth can pay for. If you want more information, College Scorecard gives you a link to calculate your personal net price too. A very important aspect of a college is the graduation rate. This is a good representation of how happy students are with the school. Under graduation and retention, you could see the graduation rate and the percentage of students who returned after their first year. The lower the graduation rate, the more students dropped out or transferred. These students were obviously not happy with the school or felt like the college was not going to be a good return on investment. Next, let's look at financial aid and debt. Here you can see how many students are taking out federal loans and under payment rate, you can see the progress of their students in paying off their student debts. You wanna look for colleges that have a higher percentage of students who have paid in full or making progress. If you click on fields of study, which is up a little more, you can look up any major the school offers and see how many students are in each major. Click on the little arrow and you can see the median income and median debt of the students in that major. The next step is to look at student body. This will give you a glance at campus life. It shows you how many undergraduate students there are and whether it is a small, medium, or large school. You can also see the demographics of the students as well. Obviously, this is up to what you desire and your preference for a college. Keep in mind that the location of the school is very important too. Would you rather go to the city or are you more of a country person? Last but not least, you can see test scores and acceptance rates. Apply to colleges where you are in the median of SAT and ACT scores. For acceptance rates, a good rule of thumb is looking at your class rank for your GPA. If you are in the top 10% of your class, Maybe applying to schools that have an acceptance rate of 15% is ideal, depending on how competitive your high school is. These are just a few key data points to analyze colleges. Keep in mind there is more to a school than just data, but the college scorecard gives you a brief overview of a school and helps you figure out what schools you may be interested in. It could also help you find red flags about a school that they won't advertise on their website.